right now. I'm about to hammer this shit out. Look how many times I tried to make this video, guys. I'm still hurt. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bet you guys just saw that porn that I just had up on my fucking computer. Hey guys, what is up? It's Luca. Hey, what's up guys? It's Luca. Alright, to be honest, I think this is overheating, so I don't think I'm going to be able to fucking make this <laughs> I don't know why it's not working out, why I can't make this two years on T-Video, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay. Well... I'm gonna go fucking film my friend skateboard. This is stupid. Really shouldn't be vlogging right now. I'm driving, but I have really exciting news. I'm actually starting tea today. Right, hey guys, what's up? It's Luca, and um, it's been one month since I've been on testosterone. All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Luca. Um, I I'm making a quitty. Today is actually my um, three months on tea, Mark. Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Luca, and I really don't know what month it is. I'm pretty sure this is almost like my, this is almost the end of my five months on T. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, you're gonna have to leave almost, I think I'm almost seven or eight months on T. Hey, what's up guys? It's Luca, and it is exactly one year. Two months on testosterone for me. All right, so while I was editing this video, I noticed that I didn't have my, I didn't make an update, a voice is side by side. So, hey, what's up guys? It's Luca, and this is my voice, two years and four months on testosterone. Maybe I did do it in the video. <laughs> anyway. All right, so one of the big things that I noticed or one of the things that's changed the most about me, obviously, is my body hair and facial hair so here's my facial hair this is about um maybe three months of not shaving uh yeah uh this is what my stomach hair looks like now um this out this is what my leg hair looks like now i'm i'm trying to like find a not so messy place to show you guys this view what my legs look like now as you can see um, arm hair looks like that. Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest with you, don't really feel like, uh, there's been much. Probably just gonna lay it down. I'm just gonna do it this way, because this is the way I feel like I'm gonna actually be able to talk to you guys. So, because it's been two months on T and, uh, I really don't know what exactly to say. I feel like every time I try to do these videos, I I tend to get in my feelings, and I don't know exactly what to say because it, it's like I'm in, I'm definitely just sharing part of my life with you guys. You know, I tried to finish making this update video. Uh, I got in my feelings again, like I said I would. And I wasn't able to do it, but I think I'm going to be able to do it this time. So, um, give me one second. Do something real quick. All right. I think when it comes to thinking about all the changes that have happened over the last two years, most of it, um, while a little bit of it has been physical, most of it has been psychological. Um, man, I really just don't have words to describe to you. Like, right now, I literally just got back from and I just I can't even tell you guys like before I started tea I wouldn't have been able to do that like it was just too much for me as a person it's really hard for me sometimes to kind of measure what what's really changed in the last two years I mean there's like so much of your life that doesn't change in your transition and I feel like maybe that's something that I didn't know and would have wished for people to tell me like I still probably deal with the people that you dealt with before your transition um some of the things like I would have wished to know how to do is like maybe I would have I would have talked a little bit more at the beginning of my when you're you're first coming out that you just like by the time that you are ready to do it you are not ready for anyone's bullshit. 
And talking more for me doesn't feel like it means that I'm entertaining like people's problematic ideas towards me. It just means that like I'm expressing what I'm actually going through, you know, because I saw a quote that recently just kind of struck me and it was like, you know, if you don't tell your story, people will say that it didn't happen, you know? So I think it's very important to just be, you know, real with people and honest about what you're going through and what you're feeling. When I first started my transition, I feel like I was very scared because I didn't know what was going to happen on the other side, like if I was going to feel good or bad. It's just to be honest, it's just been better. I think that there are feelings that I have that I feel like what if, but I know, you know, thinking about myself experiencing those things, that it would have been better, better. So for example, uh, like I often ask myself, you know, what would have it have been like, you know, if I hadn't transitioned or if I hadn't started taking tea um, and I think about like I don't know I just think about the, the the amount of discomfort that I felt just in my day-to-day -day life with everything like when it came to talking to people and all that stuff like and I think maybe that that feeling is just like my dysphoria shifting in different ways like you know for a long time, like, I felt, um, when I would wear women's clothing, I felt, like, naked. Like, it felt like it wasn't falling off my body in the way that it should, so it just felt like I was never clothed. And because of that, like, I would carry around multiple articles of clothing and just change my outfits, like, periodically throughout the day. But then, like, after I started tea, and also as, after I started, like, presenting in a way that I felt more comfortable with, I noticed that I stopped changing clothes throughout the day as much or feeling the need to carry a lot of articles of clothing on me or on my person at all times just in case, like, I wasn't feeling, feeling the outfit I was wearing. Uh, but I didn't know before then that, like, that feeling in and of itself was dysphoria. And I don't think I would have known that that feeling or the extent of the dysphoria I was feeling if I hadn't been about, you know, the relationships that I would have or the friendships that I would have or the jobs that I would have. Um, and for the most part, um, since having my social security card changed, um, I haven't really found problems when it came to talk about trans issues when they don't know that you're trans, you know. I think that for me, after two years on T, I think that the best takeaway is that I can look people in the eyes and that I can like laugh and like joke and um, forget myself even if it means that I forgive myself just in moments. And I, do, I don't think that I would have achieved that had I not begun the process of uh, transitioning. I shouldn't be vlogging right now, I'm driving, but I have really exciting news.